going on Gulf Coast Nation? This week we're going over our beach cart, why we use it, how we use it, and the capabilities it has. Come on! Let's go! So as you guys can see, we're out at the beach here and it's a little bit windy, it's cold. There are some giant, giant waves and we had to get down to our underwear to yak some baits today. So we figured while we're out here waiting for the big hoss to grab the bait, we were gonna go over the beach cart with you. So first off, as you guys have seen, especially in the Bass Tracker Remix video, like the one playing in your top right corner of the screen, it is made by Mr. Terry. This is a custom made beach cart. Now, I'm not saying that everybody out there needs a custom made beach cart, and I'm not saying that you have to go get one made by Mr. Terry. There are things from this beach cart that you can take to your everyday beach cart, like your fishing mate and the fishing mate senior and the junior um, that we use here that you guys can mod or modify on your beach carts. But this cart is made by Mr. Terry, so we wanna give a big shout out to him because this thing is awesome and it makes shark fishing out here on the beach in Florida a breeze. So one of the main reasons that we love the cart is because of how much weight it can carry and still be able to pull easy, especially in the summertime. Sometimes we have to walk a super long way to get away from everybody <laughs> and it makes it a dream. And the main reason this cart pulls so easy is because of the quad beach wheels that it has. Now, some of you guys out there might have heard of wheelies wheels. They're kind of the tip top, top of the market kind of, you know, if you're going for beach wheels, those are the beach wheels you need. But that's not true because these wheels are actually Malone tires. Now I'll tell you, one of the bigger reasons we like them is because they're like half or a third of the price. They are about $100 for two of them. So $50 a piece for $200, we got this whole cart, four wheels on it, which their capability or capacity per wheel is 121 pounds. So right around just shy of 500 pounds worth of you know payload that we can put on top. And they're way better than wheelies. Oh yeah, because one of our Malone tire testaments is we had a knife, we had a knife sitting right here. It fell through the rod holder and the blade actually went down to touch the tire. And I didn't see it at the time I was pulling the cart and I the cart was kind of hard to pull so I just yanked on it real hard. I thought it was in a sand hole and the blade actually went down into the tire pressing against it. The blade bent before the blade punctured the tire. These things are tough. You can take them on the pier, on the beach, in the parking lot, over rocks. You don't have to worry about it. These things are your one shot, one stop shop tire for your beach cart. So another good thing about it is all the rod holders because there's 10 of them and whenever we come out, especially in the summertime, we bring a lot of rods. Sometimes we'll bring a gig with us for stingrays and stuff. It's just nice to have 10 spaces for rods. Some additional features on it is the tray. The tray is really nice. You can put your phone over here. We put things like keys and batteries, um, just some miscellaneous stuff. But one of the things that is super awesome about this, especially for shark fishing, so this may not be as important for your daytime morning surf fishing guys, but if you do any type of night fishing, shark fishing, red fishing at night, your bridge fishing for black drum, I don't know, whatever you do, but night fishing with the beach cart is the floodlights. Now, Mr. Terry has hooked this up super nice with a waterproof box. We have a battery box. We have, there's a box in the back that the battery sits in, as well as all of our sand spikes, our wind shades. Uh, we put our dehooker back there. So a lot of stuff can go in the back. The battery sits back there. There's a switch box to turn the lights on and off. There's a light that shines out, three floodlights, and then there's a light that shines down, one floodlight. So you can, you know, tie rigs up at night. And then you can, you know, when you hook up to that big shark, you hook up to that big redfish, you can flip that light on, kick out three big old floodlights to completely light up the beach so you can have a more enjoyable night fishing experience. All right, so the last thing that we're gonna talk about is the handle. And it 
makes it great because it's oversized. If you need two people to carry it, then you can get both of them on it. In the <laughs> body system. Yeah, and it's super long, so if you're carrying it like this, you don't have to worry about heels hitting the car. And then also with that handle, there is underneath, there is a swivel. He actually used a swivel seat to be able to swivel that front axle 180 degrees or 360 degrees if you wanted to, but it has about a 260 degree effective turn cycle. So if we wanted to just turn that cart in circles, you could completely just turn that cart in circles. But that way you're not having to, if you have to turn a tight corner, let's say you're going down some steps, um, you know, at a beach access launch or we're trying to turn it somewhere tight in a parking lot. You know, you can just turn that cart. You don't have to worry about picking it up and turning it like you do with some of your traditional carts. Thank y'all for watching the video. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Y'all want a beach cart made by Mr. Terry? Email us at gulfcoastnation at gmail.com. You! Come on, let's go! <laughs> 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 oh!